The UN Resident Coordinator, UN Humanitarian Coordinator and UNDP Representative in Eritrea, Ms. Christina Mutoni, has commended the Eritrean people's work spirit. She made the remarks during an interview with Eritrean media outlets. Stating that such an attribute constitutes a driving force for enhanced collaboration in the development domain, Ms. Christina Mutoni noted that this asset emanates from the spirit of nationals to keep intact noteworthy values. The resident representative went on to indicate that relations between Eritrea and the UN is gaining momentum and that the implementation of cooperation accord concluded in January 2013 regarding environmental conservation, ensuring food security, social welfare, education, gender equality and human resource development is being implemented as scheduled. In this connection, Ms. Christine Umutoni lauded the achievements in various sectors in general and the health domain in particular on the basis of active popular participation. Regarding the country's progress and programs to, to raise the potentials of the youth, she explained that agreements have been reached between the Eritrean government and the UN agencies and other partners towards making the necessary investments to this end. The National Union of Eritrean Women branch in Italy held its third conference on December 14. The conference was attended by the Eritrean Ambassador to Italy, Mr. Fasadz in Pedros, and the Chairperson of the National Union of Eritrean Women in Europe region, heads of community and national organizations, as well as representatives of 10 sub-branches. Speaking on the occasion, the chairperson of the branch office stated that the union members are exerting the necessary efforts towards bequeathing the values of the Eritrean women to the young generation and the realization of development goals, in addition to mounting staunch resistance against external conspiracies in continuation of the exemplary role they played in the days of the armed struggle for independence. Likewise, Ms. Kidantas Famikail, chairperson of the Union in Europe, highly appraised the initiative taken by the branch members pertaining to the putting in place of Women's Centre in Karen. Reports were presented at the conference outlining the work accomplishments of the branch office over the past three years, during which discussions were conducted on the reports presented. Moreover, the participants elected a five-member managing committee. In closing remarks, Ambassador Fasad in Pedros pointed out that the role of Eritrean women in state affairs occupies a special place in the country's history and stressed the need for stepped-up endeavors towards nurturing youth members and strengthening organizational capacity. The Ministry of Labor and Human Welfare's branch in central Dunkalia subzone has rehabilitated a total of 20 martyr families and needy citizens from the villages of Afambo, Mabra, Irabole, and Belorbui with livestock. Omar Mohammed, head of uh, social service in the subzone, explained that the support is aimed at improving the livelihood of the nationals and expressed conviction that it would enable them to lead improved patterns of living. The beneficiary family said that the support attests to the government's commitment to citizens. Meanwhile, needy students have received educational materials and financial support from the ministry's branch so as to pursue their studies with enthusiasm. Mr. Azazi Barakat Ab, head of the National Union of Eritrean Youth and Students branch in Anzabar region, has called on youth members in elaborate subzone to enhance vocational, sports and political awareness alongside academic pursuit. He made the call at a meeting with Eden Junior and Secondary School students during which the branch had urged them to demonstrate active participation in the nation-building process. Mr. Azazi also noted that the joint endeavors being exerted by the people and the leadership lays groundwork for a bright future that would benefit the youth. The youth nationals who participated in the meeting voiced readiness to sustain input in development endeavors.